What's up guys, Bashir here for TGN.TV and today, instead of 2v2 arena, I'm just going to be bringing you guys a full length battleground. So wherever you're sitting, I hope you're comfy. <laughs> I'm not really going to do any cuts other than uh, when I die, which uh, spoiler alert, really only happens at the end. So, and I mean I'll cut out what I'm like actually sitting in ghost form, not like when I actually die. I'll show you guys my deaths because they're pretty funny. Um, but yeah, I'm also not going to cut out like these parts that I'm just running around on my kitty because why not? I feel like, you know, I could talk to you guys and I think this would give me an opportunity to talk about um, arms PvP in general. Um, keep in mind that I'm not the expert. I'm not like, you know, a pro warrior. However, if you guys uh, are curious as to how I play my warrior, um, then I can sort of walk you through that as I do it. Um, keep in mind that I am, <laughs> I am a noob sometimes, so you're gonna see mistakes, but that's just part of the gameplay, you know? And it'll be part of the fun. So, just to review my spec right now, I'm currently in um, Insight spec, which is a Heroic Strike spec, just because uh, I use Slam for a long time in arenas, and now that I'm pretty much, I mean, I'm just about f as geared as you can get, I'm full vicious with a tier 2 weapon, so I uh, thought, you know, why not just go and have some fun in Battlegrounds? That's what I'm doing, and um, I'm actually enjoying Insight spec quite a bit. I'm sure it does uh, less damage than uh, Slam, but I do like how smooth the gameplay is. I'm having that, having your sort of not overpower Mortal Strike hamstring rend skill off the global cooldown is really nice, as opposed to that skill being Slam, in which case you just have to wait through a half second cast time to get it off. So, I guess I should commentate on the action a bit, huh? So, I find a druid, charge him, <laughs> hamstring ren blade storm, baby. Why not? Because he's the first kill I'm gonna get today. Clink! Bye! Luxator. Yeah. So, that's pretty much what I do. You know, people ask me for my rotation. Um, charge in, hamstring, rend, in whatever order you prefer. Uh, Colossus Smash, overpower. I like to get the Colossus Smash up before I do anything else. Colossus Smash, Overpower, Mortal Strike. You can Mortal Strike before Overpower. Really, it doesn't make that much of a difference. And to be honest, I mean, there are, I'm sure there are people who can tell you the exact ideal, you know, uh, argument for which skills to use when. You can't go into Stealth, Thunderclap. Owned. Back to what I was saying, Rogue. Kaiza. I'm sure there are people who can tell you, like, the optimum uh, rotation or whatever. Like, you should probably use Mortal Strike before you use your first overpower so you can use the 10% lambs of the slaughter buff on the overpower and then get a double overpower once Ren takes over again. So, you know, <laughs> as as interesting as that is, guys, um, I'm just kind of playing the game to have fun. And if I want a heroic strike before I mortal strike, I'm going to do it because I do what I want. And if I want to pop wreck, Colossus smash, sweeping strikes, blade storm, this like probably negative 200 resilience warlock, that's what I'm gonna do. And people say to uh, go after healers first in Battlegrounds. Um, while that's generally a good tip, as a warrior, you wanna actually just go on whoever's squishiest so you can kill him and get a victory rush because uh, you're not often gonna have healers. So that victory rush is gonna be a big deal. So yeah, I was almost dead. Victory rush, GG. Pop retail on this uh, enhancement shaman so he can, you know. He can get his uh, Wind of Fury frogs on me all he wants, but he's just going to kill himself. <laughs> so, that's always fun. And that Warlock's almost dead, and I'm really trying to Heroic Leap to him, but Heroic Leap doesn't work. But I get to him and hit him for about, you know, a 32k Mortal Strike. Oh, yeah. Except it was absorbed, so you didn't get to see, like, that huge, big, beautiful number. But that's all good. So, getting back on this DK. Uh, people are saying that they're having trouble with uh, Frost DKs. I think this guy's Frost. Um... I'm not really the authority on 1v1 because I really don't like duels very much. I, I mean, like, it doesn't really accomplish much other than make me feel bad about myself when I lose. So, <laughs> which happens often because I hardly ever duel, so I don't have practice. Vicious cycle, I know. But I mainly like to do arena and BGs just because it's more fun. For me, at least. <laughs> Plus, when you beat somebody in a duel, it doesn't say get shit on. And I mean, and who wants that, right? Oh well. <laughs> So my DK, DK is usually just grip stuff away from me. Now he grips it to me, but uh, I'm all out of fear breakers. So I just say in party chat, you know, sad face. CC makes me cry IRL because it does. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and swim out of the of the lake and mount the, oh, 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 we're in combat. Where are we in combat from? 
Alright. Never mind. False alarm. Let's move. So yeah, doing okay. 5-0. and oh. Woot. Leading KBs. That's what we do. I, me being me being the noob that I am, I like to lead killing blows more than I like to lead damage. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> Especially as a warrior, you need those killing blows to stay alive. So instead of so I could go on the disc priest, like everybody else is doing, or I could be like, hey, there's a really squishy warlock. How about I go kill him? So that's what I do. Blurred storm, just cleaving off everybody. He's getting some heals. Kill his pet. At the cleave damage, he's gonna drain life, and I'm gonna be like, "Lol, execute, ba boom." Uh, did somebody say mines is in trouble. Okay, because it's not anymore. It's how we do it. Kept it. Kept that shit. All right, so here's where the epics mode begins. Because I'm like, okay, people are following me around, stealing my kills. I'm sick of it. There's this priest running away from me. I'm like, is anybody over there? There's chaos at blacksmith. Nah, I don't really care. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run to farm with no ally assistance, get stuck on the fence because I'm trying to heroic leap, and then I find this priest named Sorrow, and I'm like, yellow will. Pummel your vampiric touch. Say hello to your DKs trying to come kill me. Listen to the thunder that's going on outside my house. <laughs> get gripped, charge, sucker! I'll get owned. That was pretty pro. <laughs> he, he gripped me into, like, so I could, he gripped me sort of into charge range, so to speak. And then I proceed to victory rush him and kill him as well. And now I'm like, oh yeah, time to, you know, 3v1 again. And then my allies start coming up here and I'm like, no, leave me alone. It's my kill. Yeah, that would have been a 48k mortal strike. <laughs> yeah, it got absorbed, but, you know, it did the damage. It, it finished him off, which is good. So I'm, I'm living off Victory Rush right now, which is having, you know, tremendous success with that. Taking down the Enhancement Shaman. Looking, Sorrow's coming back. He gets a hung hungering cold so he can hard cast his greater heal. Three second cast. It's like, just, that. all that says to me is thank you for the damage buff. Because I've got Root Interruption in my spec. <laughs> so, I, the, the Ren Tick kills that guy. And this poor guy, what's his name, the Cavalier or whatever? He's been trying to hit me this entire time, and I just keep attacking everybody but him. I'm, <laughs> I'm sure he's like, pay attention to me! I wonder if he's a blood DK. He, he's hitting me with, like, frost stuff. I have no idea. His HP is kind of high. It would make sense if, if he was a blood DK and wanted me to hit him, but I'm not gonna, because I'm gonna kill all the other squishy people instead of you. So you can keep hitting me and give me rage all you want. I'm just gonna blind storm everybody! And then, oh, I see somebody low health. <laughs> That was definitely probably a kill steal. I get low, and then this little paladin named Crusader comes along and is like, hey, I'll heal you. And I'm like, sweet. Except I get stuck on that little post or whatever. So I'm like, ugh, 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 trying to get over it and then trying to heroic leap. Both, of, both, you know, failing initially. But eventually make it over the post and get the heroic leap and get the execute. And then finally come back to the Cavalier after all his allies are gone. And then as soon as somebody else comes back. <laughs> As soon as somebody else comes back, I switch off of him. <laughs> that poor guy. He must feel so neglected. He's like trying so hard for so long to kill me. Alright, buddy. If you really want me to kill you, there. You feel better now. Okay. Good. I'm glad. <laughs> he tried so hard. Oh, that poor guy. I don't mean to I don't mean to sound like a douche. I just remembered like while I was playing this, I was like, okay, I'm not hitting him. <laughs> because I just kept not like I was killing the healer, killing the the shaman every single time. <laughs> Go find that priest. And this this is what I'm talking about. Like my rotation is just like whatever the hell I feel like doing. I'll often charge in and rend and hamstring like when I get a charge, but like any other time I'm probably just gonna run up to you and heroic strike you <laughs> because I'm because I'm really bad at the game. You know, heroic. Yeah, see, look at that. I open up with a heroic strike. <laughs> uh, it's just about having fun, you guys. Like, honestly. In Arena, you probably do want to respect your uh, your ideal rotation if you want to be successful. Like, don't open up with a heroic strike in Arena. But, I mean, like, for me, like, right now, I'm just, you know, at the end of the workday, I come in here, 
you know, just yell in uh, the target area who wants to do uh, some regular BGs, and then I just invite whoever says yes first, and then we do it. Except this time, we actually, I was actually respecking into, back into Insight from a slam spec, and we were having like a warrior party. Like a, a bunch of warriors, like, start, we just all were like, you know, dancing around Wu Shin. The warrior trainer was pretty badass, and so I was like, alright, let's do some BGs. And then this happened. So here we are. I'm not doing a very good job talking about the game, but uh, you guys can see what happens, right? You know, I'm doing doing tons of damage to somebody, and then Ice Lance steals my kills. <laughs> and you can see in a party chat, Stampy's telling me to to quit stealing his kills, and I'm like, well, quit following me around. <laughs> like, <laughs> doesn't make any sense. And this mate, I hate it when people do this. When they, like, watch this mage, he'll just like follow me around and just like Ice Lance for the kills. A heroic strike is like my ice lance, basically. I think I don't know the mechanic of ice lance, but I like to I like to get those last quick kills with the heroic strike. It makes me feel pretty pro. So I see this goblin named Creature running away from me. It's a pretty fitting name, right? For all you for all you HP fans out there, represent. No, I'm not. I don't know. I don't really like Harry Potter that much, but my fiance is like nuts over it. So whatever, she'll like that shout out if she even watches this. <laughs> Which she might, who knows? We're lucky. Anyway, Creature's over here getting tag-teamed by me and this uh, Enhancement Shaman. Clink. And then our buddy Mage is like, Hey! Are you guys killing something? I'm a mage! I'm like, can I, fro can I Ice Lance it? And it's like, yeah, dude. Um, you go that way, I'll go this way, okay? Let's just, uh, let's just uh, defend different points. So, we'll get this, uh, <laughs> this Frost DK named Dominating. <laughs> the shaman just laughs at him. I don't know how I did that much damage to him that fast. Nothing even hit that hard. I think he's just sort of bled to death or something. I don't know. Who knows? And then I'm not watching my back. I should have turned around and noticed that there's a warlock coming out here. He just like runs right into us and shadow furies all three of us. So we're like, okay, we can't have that. So there's no hamstring, no rend on him. Just Colossus smashing him anyway. Doing what I want. Slick. Killed him. What? What? No, was that supposed to be my my execute noise? Slick. Nah, whatever. <laughs> I do what I want. Don't talk about the noises I make from my different skills. So here, this is this is <laughs> this is one of my fail moments. So you get to at the end of the BG, you get to see my score, and you're like, dang, that was that's a pretty good BG, you know, not too bad. And then I get moments like this where I'm like, ooh, I see that little low uh, health warlock. And I'm like, mine! And I watch him put his demonic circle at the top of the thing. And I'm like, eh, I know he's going to jump down and port, but, you know, I can I can kill him pretty fast. I'll get him in a throwdown and, you know, I'll be fine. So here I am, you know, doing no damage to somebody with no resilience, just feeling like an absolute pro. Jump down after him. He ports up. And I'm like, uh, okay. So he's probably going to fear me. I will spell reflect it. So spell reflect goes two, one, over. Then I get feared. <laughs> Zerk rage out of that. <laughs> I charge in on him, trying to, but before I can even charge in, because I'm having trouble jumping over the rock, he jumps down again, and I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake. So I'm going to kill his pet, and so out of this failure comes, like, I guess if this ever were to happen to you, I guess you can learn something from it, and I guess the only thing to learn is to... Uh, go up the other side, I guess? So I pop Wreck on him, and he just ports... <laughs> he's just like, a lol, you bad. And I'm like, yeah. So, I'm trying to charge him from way down there. Doesn't work. Run up this side, it's so much more effective. There, finally kill him. And then the guy that I told <laughs> that, the, that the kill was mine, he's like, are you done yet? We just killed, like, everybody at the mine, and you, t <laughs> and you couldn't even kill a 90k health warlock in that time. And I'm like... Yeah, <laughs> but oh well, we're doing pretty good. We're, you know, have a sizable lead in terms of the points. And I try to type oh law, I didn't fail at that. And also can't even type lol correctly, apparently. <laughs> so I charge in, get a rend on the mage, he ice blocks. Have to wait my that long, long global cooldown to get the shattering throw. We're blowing this dude up. Try to heroic leap. Oh, is he a fire mage? No, he's an arcane mage. Blasted us away. There he is. Oh, no, I don't get the... Oh, I do get the kill. Yes! With a 
with elite damage, 7k, or, I mean, mortal strike. Yeah, baby. Way elite deeps right there. So anyway, so now apparently these guys thinking that they're going to uh, take uh, the stables. And I'm like, no, no. Oh, flash heal for you. Blurred storm on Bojangles. My mortal enemy. There. <laughs> that was not nearly as hard as last time. I don't play like a noob. Die, Aunt Jemima. She's a, she's a wonderful lady IRL, I'm sure. But, alright, whenever you see an arcane mage, it doesn't even matter if they have like, you know, like 80k health. You need to kill them instantly, because it doesn't, it doesn't matter about their gear. They're still gonna like, stack their little whatever the fuck on you, and then crit you for your entire health bar. So, I think that you guys... I don't know, if you guys didn't see Hengus uh, do his uh, Arcane Mage AB, you guys should watch it. Because I was really impressed with how much damage Arcane Mages do. It was really ridiculous. That and getting hit for 40k in Arena one time in 2v2. Like, it was like Feral Druid, uh, what was it, Arcane Mage? And I was like, eh, I'll just go on the Druid, you know? NP. The Mage just sits back and stacks his Arcane Blast on me and kills me before my healer could like do anything. He was like, what? How did you die? And I was like, how did I die? Uh, it was something like that. Something like what happened to that priest or whatever. But yeah. Arcane Mages hit really hard, so kill him when you see him. Um, I don't really feel like I'm giving many tips, and I also don't really feel like I'm doing a very good job <laughs> commentating this battleground, but I hope you guys are enjoying it. <laughs> oh god. So I grabbed my Zerker buff, and now I see like a bazillion people coming, so I'm like, I'm gonna run up the hill. But me being me, I'm like... Nah, I'm gonna go back down there and kill that warlock. Because <laughs> I can't help myself. Well, never mind. I guess I don't. I guess I just find this priest who reses here inexplicably. I'm not really sure why he res here. I thought we capped it, but whatever. Light him up with my uber lead deeps. That nice back to back crits there. That was pretty cool. And since I got my Zerker buff and a Colossus smash, why not? Blurred Storm! That, uh. <laughs> that paladin is evidently laughing at us, and then I probably realized why at this point. It's like, oh man, I'm so dead. Can't pop regen, I pop, pop shield wall. And creature fears me, like, right on the edge, so I can't even jump off. And I'm just like, fuckers. Ruin my, ruin my zero deaths. But I am 27 and 1, which isn't, ain't too shabby. This isn't, this isn't, like, super uncommon, but, uh, I don't know, I filmed this last night, and I have been only doing uh, Arena for TGN so far. So I was like, eh, some people have been doing a full-length Battleground commentary on TGN, I might as well give it a try, and this is a pretty good one, so why not? So here I am, making a full BG commentary for you guys, even though I'm not really commentating. <laughs> Although I am pouting in-game. I'm like, I'm upset. Meh, I died. But yeah. Um, if you guys have any, like, I guess... A lot of people have been asking for uh, rotation stuff, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video. Um, if you're curious, even though this isn't like optimum rotation, like when I do things well, like when things die really fast, go ahead and look at my uh, my action bar and find out what I'm doing when, and like in sort of what order, and what's effective, because, I mean, I don't, honestly, I don't really always, you know, have in mind exactly what I'm doing. Sometimes I just play and just do whatever, like right, like right now, check this out. How pro is this? Charge the mushroom. Hell yes. Pro tip. All right, that, that's something that you guys want to know. Is even when you don't have blitz, charge the mushroom. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Scrub play at its finest. Brought to you by your buddy Bajiro. So this sort of thing is going to go to way, and I'm like, no. How about you just eat like 18 crits in a row? And <laughs> you see them all just like being like, boom, boom, on my, on my mixed scrolling battle text. Yeah. So honestly, you probably want to charge in Rend, Hamstring, Colossus Smash. I don't mind getting a quick overpower into a Mortal Strike into another overpower. And then you just kind of go with whatever. You can throw a, a Heroic Strike in there if you want to, or if you have the Rage for it at any point. Because off the global cooldown, woot. And then if you get the Insight proc, then you can get another crit after that. So that's a pretty good burst. Um, and that's that's excluding uh, Throwdown and Recklessness and all that, because... Uh, people, you know, talk about, like, your ideal opener and stuff, but, um, I don't know, I like to save Throwdown and Recklessness for more strategic times. Like, for example, when I'm 1v1-ing 
Yeah, I'm terrible, setting a terrible example right now. For example, when I'm 1v1-ing uh, Destruction Warlock, that's a really good time to pop wreck and throw down at the same time. So, for my newbiness, I get killed by three DKs. And I have a partner here, and I try to charge that DK. And now my partner, like, a Vitality comes on here, and I'm, like, trying to Heroic Leap to her to intervene, and I can't Heroic Leap uphill, and I can't intervene to her, so I end up dying. Fail. And here I am, resing. I'm like, oh, that was ridiculous. So I'm like, all right, got to get one last kill. Vengeance! And then the BG ends. Yeah, so <laughs> that's pretty much how that went. I hope you guys enjoyed my, like, random commentary. But this has been Bajir for TGN.TV. Hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next time.